Welcome to exercise 16, engine failure. So we are flying along the Hardepiers Pier Dam, just um, enjoying our scenic view, and then all of a sudden we experience an engine failure. So what now? First, uh, we're gonna raise a nose for our best glide speed, get some altitude, 65 um, feet, so speed. Then we're gonna look for a field to land. That looks like a nice crop, uh, crop circle. So we're always looking for something within 30 degrees to land at our uh, line of sight. Then we're gonna go into what's called fault fighting. So we're gonna start from the fuel tank, moving in an L uh, shape almost position while still maintaining visual reference of the crop circle we want to land in so we start with fuel is on both make sure the sh shut or valve is not closed mixture goes full for the restart throttle to idle firm circuit breakers is in we'll switch the fuel pump on confirm outside we are going towards our field then masters on magnetos on both attempt to restart and then we see negative on the restart so now we'll make a call uh, mayday 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 your calls aircraft call sign with two passengers on board um, we've got an engine failure we're going for a crop circle just west of um, of um, Hardepies Poor Dam so now we start with our uh, switching off of the aircraft scenario so we'll go fuel pump off and our um, mixture goes off throttle to idle avionics goes off all circuit breakers as well and stuff and we'll switch the magnetos to the off position while looking at our field so now you see we are going to overshoot a little bit so that's part of the plan so if you see you are going to overshoot you can put your aircraft into what's called s turns so we are now just conducting s turns to slow our aircraft down but we still leave the masters on because we need to operate the flaps that's electrically driven so now we've dro uh, dropped some altitude but we're looking for 65 knots and also we see our surface is flat and we'll pretend the wind is coming from the front section so now we'll gently turn in we'll take and our best glide speed is about 65 knots but we're trying to lose altitude so I'm gonna apply one flaps always try and leave flaps for as late as possible so then we'll brief our passengers we'll say to our passengers we've got an engine failure we are gonna go for the field unlatch your doors and on my command get ready to brace okay there's about 65 knots we are now just going down flying to our field we're going full flaps down wait for the flaps switch off the masters so there's no electricity get ready for the stall we want to land on the stall tell the passengers brace 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 and we'll land the aircraft and apply full brakes to bring the aircraft to a complete and full stop and from here we'll then exit the aircraft if you haven't um, seen um, there's any problems what you then can do is to switch on your radios and get onto the frequency of the nearest aircraft around you but first try to get and speak to actually a um, air traffic control service you know just to let them know where you are parked okay so what I've done is shown you how to actually now land the aircraft for a bit of the um, passenger briefing as well something that I and um, I left something specifically out for you guys it's something very small I want you to comment for me on the comment box below what you think it will be 
and then I'll let you know in about a week's time what I've left out it's one to give you a little clue it just has to do with um, letting everybody know it is a emergency so there we go there's our successful landing operation with an engine failure remember to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you tomorrow for the next lesson have a good day